morning students. I welcome you to JC Bear School. So today I'm going to be taking you mathematics and Miss Cynthia. So for now I'll be taking you what mathematics. Alright, so we're going to be looking at what directed numbers that are topic and under our subtopic we're going to be looking at what multiplication of what of directed numbers. Okay, let me bring you back to what we did last time. Last time you were taught addition and subtraction of what of directed numbers. And you were giving rules on how to what, add or subtract what two directed numbers. And you know that directed numbers, they are just positive or what or negative numbers. They have to say one is a directed number, two, three, four, minus five, minus ten. So all those numbers from positive to negative are what directed what numbers. So today we're going to be looking at what how we can multiply what directed what numbers. Just as you have rules in adding and subtracting directed numbers, we also have rules that will guide us in what in multiplying what directed numbers. Over right, here, yeah, I have both these rules. I will explain them. Okay, you see this first one. I have what positive times what negative so multiplication is just a way of what repeating what addition so i have positive here multiplied by what a positive numbers so my result will be what will be positive that is to say if i have two times two i'm going to have what a positive what answer now i have what a positive number multiplied by what a negative number okay the result is going to give me what negative also, if I have what a negative number at first multiplied by what a positive number, the result is going to give me what negative. And if I have a negative number multiplied by a negative number, I'm going to have what positive. So let's drive this into what into two summary. That is to say that if I have what a directed number that have the same sign. I'm going to have what a positive what answer. Now let's look at what does that mean. Meaning that this is what have the same sign, positive, positive, they have the same sign, and it gives me positive the answer. Okay? And here I have negative times negative. The result is what is positive. So I have here why two directed numbers with the same sign are multiplied, the answer is what is positive. That has to say. 2 times 2 will give me what? Positive. Minus 2 times minus 2, the result will be what? Positive. Okay. So the second condition says that when two directed numbers with different signs are what multiplied, the answer is what is negative. Okay, let's come back to our rules. We have positive number multiplied by what? A negative number. The answer is what is negative. And a negative number multiplied by a positive number, our result is what is negative. So these are the rules that will guide us throughout this class when we want to multiply what directed numbers. Okay? Alright, so let's see some examples and how we can apply our rules to what our example. So our objective is what? Is to multiply directed numbers using what? Number line. Okay? So we we'll make use of this rule and multiply directed numbers using number line. And our second objective, by the end of this class, you can be able to achieve that is to multiply directed number without the use of what of number line. So now we've introduced our class. So let's start to achieve what our first objective. I remember we said by the end of the lesson. So before the end of maybe solving problem one, we should be able to what attempt what problem two. All right, let's see our example this soon. All right, we have example one. Multiply the following numbers using what? Number line. And the first one is three multiplied by four. Minus four multiplied by five. Minus five multiplied by two. Now, let's see the solution. So now, we said what? Using what? Number line. So in directed number, what is very important when we are multiplying directed number is to consider what the sign. The sign will help us in multiplying what directed what numbers. Okay, just as you have in addition, you make use of number line from 0 to 1, 2, 3, 
from uh, from the left side, zero, minus one, minus two, like that. That's not the same case for what for multiplication using number line. We're going to see it before the end of this class. All right, let's see the first one. Three multiplied by what? Four. We see that this three is what is a positive number, and this four is also a positive number. So we are fine. So this means positive three lots of what? Of four. Okay? Like I said, multiplication is just another way of what? Writing repeated word addition. So this means I'm going to have what? Plus four, three times. Plus four, plus four, plus four, three times. Because what? This multiplier here is what? Is three. Alright, so I'm going to have this. Plus four, plus four, plus four. Okay? This is three. Assuming maybe here is five, I'm going to have this plus four. How many times? Five times. Okay, but another thing now, we are not done. We have to put a sign here. How can we know the sign that we put? What will help us to know the sign that we put is what? The sign of what? Of the first number that you're multiplying. You see that the first number here is what? Is three. And three is what? Is positive. So we are safe. So here we come here and we put what? Positive. We'll come here and we'll put what? Positive. Is that fine? Yes, it's fine. Alright, so if we open this up, it's just going to be what? 4 plus 4 plus what? 4. Because plus, plus, plus will give us plus. Okay? Just like we have here to give us what? Positive. Alright, so how can we do this now in number line? That's where the challenge comes from. Like I said, in addition, we start from 0, 1, 2, 3, to the right, and to the left, negative sign, not negative numbers. But in the case of multiplication, we have to take it a step of what? Of the multiplier. Now you see this is what? 4. So we have to write our number line in step of what? Of 4. To the right, and also what? To the left. So normally, as usual, we start from what? From zero. So we have four, four in here, four into three places. So we have to write this in step of what? Of four. We count in step of four. Now to the right now, we have zero here. My next number will be what? Will be four. I'll come here and I'll put four. And I'll quickly add four again. So four plus four is what? Is eight. I'll come here and I'll add what? 8. Quickly, I'll add another 4. Four, 8 plus 4 now will give me what? 12. I have here 12. Quickly, I'll add another 4. 12 plus 4 will give me what? 16. Alright, this is the right. Now, the same thing, I'll just come here and put minus 4. This is 8. I'll come here and put minus 8. This is 12. I'll come here and put what? Minus 12. So you see, it's not the same thing as what? Addition. Now, this is not, you're not supposed to memorize this. It depends on what you are, what, what you are multiplying. Why I have this in steps of 4 is because my multiplier here is what? 4. And you can see now that 4 is what? Is 3 places. That means we are going to count from 0 to the right of what? Our number line is going to start from 0. I'm going to move what to the right because it is what positive. Remember in number line, when you want to say 3 plus 2, you move what to the right of what 0. If it's negative, you move towards to the left of what of 0. So since here everything is positive, we move what to the right of what 0. How many times? Three times. Because we have here 1, 2, 3. Is that fine? Good. Alright, so now let's do this. I have here, so I'm moving now three times. Let's count. Count with me. This is one, two, three. So that means this is my what? Three times what? Four. This is three times what? Four. And my answer here is what? Is twelve. Very simple. So I'll come here and I'll say, Positive 3 times positive 4 will give me what? 12. So my answer.
answer is what? It's positive. Okay? Alright. So let's do more examples and I'm sure you'll be experts before we are done. So example two, B part says what? Negative four multiplied by what? By five. So just the same way we've done for the first one, we're going to repeat the same case. But now be careful. Look at this guy here. We have what? A negative sign. So we have to be very careful of the negative sign. So now, minus 4 times positive 5, it means what? Minus 4 plus of what? Of 5. Meaning that we're going to have 5, how many times? 4 times. You see this one, we have what? 4, how many times? 3 times. So here we're going to have 5, how many times? 5 times. Okay? So here I have positive what? 5. Okay? So I'm going to have this. Positive 5, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, and this is what? 4. Okay, so we've written 5 what? 4 times. But now, like I said, what will be the sign here? You can tell me. I believe you say the answer is what? It's negative. Why is it negative? Because our first multiplier is what? It's negative. Okay, now we go back to this question. You see that the first multiplier is positive, and that's why we have here positive. So, what's going to be the sign here is negative because the multiplier here is what is negative. So, I'm going to put here negative, negative, negative. Is this correct? No, it's not correct because something is missing here. This is positive. So, when you are putting negative, be careful. Everything has to be what in negative. You see, the reason why we didn't put here plus because plus is a good guy, it does not have any effects. So that's why we don't need to come here and put plus, it will affect it. But when you have a negative, you have to be very, very what careful. Okay, so I will come here and I'll put what negative. So you see, you are not just to put negative at this point, you have to include the negative. In what in the first number. So with this now, you are on the right track. Alright, so we have here negative positive. And come back to our rule. We say when we have negative positive, our result will be what? Will be negative. So I will remove the brackets. I will have here negative 5 minus 5 minus 5 minus what? 5. So now let's do this in what in number line. So now look, at, you can see that we have here all the sign is what is the same. That's the good news. All the sign here is the same, and all the sign here is what is the same. So there's no situation where we're going to have what positive, negative, positive, negative. So everything is what negative. So our normal line is going to be what instead of what of five, and we're going to count this to what to the left of what from zero. From zero, we're going to move what to the left because we have what negative. So I have the number line. This is what zero. So since it's negative five, we're going to make the negative to be much larger. I have the zero. So I have five. Okay. So this is negative five, negative ten, negative fifteen, negative twenty, negative what twenty-five. All right. So now I'm moving what zero to the what to the left. Okay. So I'm counting how many times. One, two, three, four, four times. So I let's count. This is one, two, three, four. Meaning that negative four times positive five, our answer is what is minus twenty. So negative four times positive five, our result is what minus what twenty. Okay. So that shows that satisfy our rule that when we have a negative and positive our result is what is negative okay all right you guys are experts let's move towards the third number question so we have now negative 5 multiplied by what negative 2 so this means negative 5 lot of what negative 2 so meaning that i'm going to write what negative 2 how many times five times okay all right so you can just pause the video and solve this on your own and let us see if you have the same answer.
help with mine. Alright, so I have here, I'm writing negative 2 five times. Negative 2, negative 2, negative 2, and that. Okay, so the sign that will be in the middle is what is minus. Because my first multiplier is what is negative. Okay, so I have here negative, 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 negative. Alright, minus times minus. Let's come to our rule. Minus times minus is what? Is positive. So here yeah, I'm going to have what? Positive 2 minus times minus positive 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus what? 2. 5 times. So in our number line, I'm going to move what step of what of two to the right of what of zero. Okay, so I have here is zero. Here is two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Let's stop here. So let's just write this minus two. Okay, so because we are moving to the right, so the right will be much right. So we have what? How many two? Five. So we are counting five times. One, two, three, four, five. So our answer is what? Positive ten. So meaning that negative five times negative two, our answer is what? Positive what? Ten. And that satisfies our rule. When you have two negative numbers, your answer is what? Is positive. So, so far, We've achieved our world's first objective, and I know you guys are experts in this. So let's do that the second objective multiplying directly number without the use of number line. This is very simple. One line you are done. Let's see this. The first one we have was positive 3 multiplied by what? By negative 5. So I have positive 3 multiplied by what? By negative 5. So let's just put everything in the bracket so let's see how it will look like. I have here positive 3 minus what? Negative 5. Okay? So this looks kind of ugly. Why can't we move the minus outside the brackets? Let's do that and see. So if we say minus 3 times 5, you see, it's still the same thing. Okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to solve what that of what the inner bracket. So 3 times 5 is what is 15. But we don't stop there. We have to what, include what the sign. So we have here minus what 15. So that means positive 3 times negative 5 is what minus what 15. You see, I told you one line, you are done. Alright, let's quickly do this. So pause the video, try B and C and see if you have the same answer with mine. Alright, I have B, I have negative 2 times positive 8, the same procedure, I will just put everything in bracket, I have minus 2 times 8, okay? So yeah, I will have, I will bring the minus outside, I will make it look very nice, I have 2 times what 8, and I have what 2 times 8 is what is 16, and my sign is what negative. I believe you have this answer. If you got this answer, please give yourself a big clap. Alright, the third one, we have what? 7 times what? Times 3. So this is just positive. It's very simple. We just have 7 times 3 is what? It's 21. Okay? You guys are experts in multiplication and I know you won't have any problem here. Alright, we've achieved so far all our objective. So try to recap this video like two to three times so that you able to what master how to multiply direct numbers using number line and with that use of what number line. Follow me up on our double class stream for basic four. This is what is the class code and also follow me up in Zoom. This is my ID and this is what my password. This C is capital C. C C B S I. This is what capital letter. So this C is capital letter, okay? So I want to see your participation, your answer, your assignment is there on the classroom and there we're going to have any discussion. Any question you have pertaining all what you've done today, you're going to type it and write it down in the double classroom. So when I see it, I'm going to reply immediately. Alright, have a nice day and bye and not forget.